Welcome to target 99 plus LRDI series. So this is a good set of Venn diagram. This set came in CAD 2018. So if you have not attempted it, attempt it and then watch the video solution. The link of the question is there in the description section. Now let's see that 1600 satellites were sent up by a country for several purposes. The purpose were classified as broadcasting, communication, surveillance and others. The satellites can serve multiple purposes. However, satellites serving either B or C or S do not serve O. So any satellite serving O will not overlap or will not do these purposes, right? So it could it would be always be exclusive. Now what is further points are there? Let's see that. Uh, the following facts are known about the satellites. The number of satellites serving B, C and S though may not be exclusively are in the ratio of 2 is to 1 is to 1. So let's make a diagram according to the condition that we have in the initial para. So the diagram would be something like this. So according to the first point, total number of satellites for B if, if it is 2x, for C it would be x and for S it would also be x and O would be exclusive. It will not overlap with any of these satellites. Now, number of satellites serving all the three B, C and S is 100. So value over here would be 100. The number of satellite exclusively serving C is same as the number of satellite exclusively serving S. Okay. Uh, and this is 30% of the number of satellites serving B, exclusively serving B. So if this is 10Y, this would be 3Y. This would be 3 why now look into these two circles of c and s they have equal value this region is same for c and s exclusive region is also same so this region and this region would also be same so let's name them as z and z over here okay now Fifth, fourth point says that number of satellites serving O is same as the number of satellites serving both C and S but not B. So let's suppose the number of satellites serving O is K, then this would also be K. Okay. And all we know that total number of satellites is 1600. Now, can we write some equation according to the relations that we have? The first relation is what? That B is twice of c so what is all together b that is nothing but 10y 2z plus 100 10y plus 2z plus 100 equals to uh, 3y or twice of 3y plus z plus 100 plus k right now if we simplify this a little further so this would be 4y 2z, 2z would get cancelled, uh, minus 2k and 200 and 100, so 100. So this can be further simplified as 2y minus k equals to 50. So this is one equation that we can get. So this gives us a relation between y and k. Now what relation more we can find it out? Now if we sum all the regions, we'll get equals to 1600 because sum of the total satellite is 1600 so let's quickly sum this up 10y 3y and 3y that will make it to 16y now how many z we have we have 2z how many k we have in total 2k and 100 this equals to 1600 right now if we simplify this further so this would be uh, 15 and this would be 8y plus z plus k equals to uh, 750. So this is another relation and equation that we have in terms of y, z and k. Fine. Now let's see what is the question. The first question is what best can be said about the number of satellites serving c. So what are the satellites serving c? It is nothing but 3y plus k plus z plus 100 right so we need to find the value or if you look into the option it is the range of values for this complete number right now these are the two equations i can see that i can put the value of k plus z 
k plus z and that is nothing but a 750 minus 8y if i put that k plus z equals to 750 minus 8y it would be all together 850 minus 5y so the total value of c is 850 minus 5y so what we have done is that we have made a three variable equation into a one variable equation and or by taking or by finding the values for y we can find the range of the value of this complete number that is 850 minus 5y now if we look into this equation 2y minus k equals to 50 so what is the minimum value of y minimum value of y would be 25 now if that is 25 so 850 minus 5 into 25 is 125 so this will make it to 725 so the maximum value maximum value would be 725 now how many options can we eliminate so i can definitely eliminate second option definitely eliminate third option okay so now we have seen that the minimum value of y from this equation is 25 so y ka minimum value is 25 and that gave the maximum value for c that is 850 minus 5 that is 725 now what could be the maximum value of y now maximum value of y i'll have to look into these two equations these equations and these equations so now let's try to put the value of k uh, over here so if i do that it would be 8y plus z and what is k k would equals to 2y minus 50 and minus 50 will go over there so that will make it to 800 so this gives us 8y plus z equals to 800 okay so from here what would be the maximum value of y maximum value of y making this as 0 will get the maximum value of y and maximum value of y is nothing but 80 now if maximum value of y is 80 so what would be the minimum value of this equation 850 and 5 into 80 is nothing but 400 so this would be 450 so the value of the c or this complete terms some of these terms would be between 450 to 725 so clearly this would be the correct option fine so what do we uh, what did we find that y ka maximum value or y ka maximum value is 80 fine now let's see question number two it says that what is the minimum possible value of satellite serving b exclusively so what is the uh, value or value of 10y minimum value of 10y now we know the minimum value of y is 25 so minimum value of 10y is 250. now question number three says if at least 100 of 1600 satellites were serving o so it is nothing but value of k is nothing but greater than or equal to 100 because the term at least is used what can be said about the number of satellites serving s serving s and s and c were the same thing right because total number of satellites is x over here it is x now we have also seen that the final value that we got uh, for c or for s which are both or nothing but the same thing was 850 minus 5y 850 minus 5y the value of k equals to or greater than or equal to 100 now focusing this equation if value let's suppose the value of k equals to 100 then from this equation what value of y will get will get value of y equals to 75 now let's suppose if we uh, you know increase the value of k on increasing the value of k will increase the value of y right because it is 2y minus k a negative sign is over involved over here or you can cross check with the uh, values in fact so the maximum value of this complete term would be found when we know the minimum value of y now the minimum value of y according to the condition that k equals 200 is 75 so 850 minus 5 times of 75 5 times of 75 is 375 and 850 minus 375 850 minus 375 is nothing but 5 7 and 475 so this would be the maximum value okay so at most 475 is the correct answer now let's see question number four it says that if the number of satellites serving at least two at least two among b c and s is 1200 so at least two means exactly two and exactly three region so it is nothing but k plus 2z 
plus 100 equals to 1200. Then we need to answer which of the following must be false. Okay. Now the first statement is the number of satellite serving C cannot be uniquely determined. Okay. Now let's see that. Uh, can we make this equation as K plus 2Z equals to 1100? Now look at this equation and the two equation we originally have. So we have three equations and three variables y, k and z, y, k and z. So this means that we can exactly find the value of y, k and z because if we have three equations, three variables, we can definitely find all the values. So the number of satellite serving C cannot be uniquely determined is false, is completely false. And we have to answer which of the following must be false. So first statement is our correct option. So hope you have understood the set. So it was more about solving equation and optimizing it or finding the range of the values at most. Okay. Thank you.